Well, the Missouri man accused of shooting 16-year-old Ralph Yarrow has turned himself into police. Here's Andrew Lester's new mugshot. Lester has been charged now with first-degree felony assault and armed criminal action. Lester told police that he thought Yarrow was trying to break into his home, so he shot him. Yarrow's family says the teen went to his door by mistake, and now court documents say there's no indication any words were exchanged before Lester opened fire. Joining me now, the mayor of Kansas City, Quentin Lucas. Uh, and, and Mayor, this is the first time we've had a chance to, to speak with you uh, about Andrew Lester. We just found out he's turned himself in. Do you know this man, Mayor? Do you know anything about his background and these claims that what he did was with race, racist intention? You know, I think uh, there are not many details about this gentleman's background yet. I know that will be learned over time. For me, what is most important, we've talked to the victim. I know we'll do, uh, pardon me, the victim's family. I know we'll do more on that in this interview. But Mr. Lester, uh, I understand, does have uh, relatives in the Kansas City area. Uh, he is someone who's lived there for a, a bit of time in the neighborhood he's in. And I know we'll be learning more about him as the days and weeks go by. Well, we definitely do want more information about him, of course, and his background. But we are learning a lot about Ralph Yarl, um, and we have heard from family members. Do you know how he's doing uh, at this point? You know, I, I hear that he's doing just shockingly well. It is astonishing. He was uh, shot in the head last week, last week, Thursday night. He was shot a second time in the arm. For someone who has undergone that type of trauma to be back home in a short amount of time is nothing short of miraculous. I, I had the opportunity to visit with his mother yesterday, a, a strong woman, a strong family. Uh, I know that uh, this is the sort of thing that, while a challenge to him with the type of support he has both in his family, at his high school, where I spent time today, uh, and broadly in this greater Kansas City community, uh, I, I look forward to a full recovery and this young man knowing he has our support. Mayor, one more question. The family wants Andrew Lester to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, I think if you look at the charges right now, they, they carry sentences up to life imprisonment on the felony assault charge. Um, Mr. Lester, it, it doesn't necessarily make it material to this, but is 84 years old. 10 years to life is a substantial sentence for this man, for the shooter here. I think that there are many concerns we have about this situation. The fact that it seems as if a 16, uh, a teenage boy coming to the doorstep, a black child coming to the doorstep, was something that put this man in some greater fear. It is incredibly concerning. The facts have been throughout. That's why I'm glad Mr. Lester is in prison this afternoon. I look forward to seeing the criminal justice process carry on from here. And we're going to follow it. Mayor Quentin Lucas, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.